It's been a long journey for you, Mike. How, how have you enjoyed that long journey? It's been a dream, Phil. It, it really, I mean, it's had its moments, of course. Um, but I think back now, the 22 years, and it is now coming up for me, um, I've had a dream run. I've, I've been blessed, really. You've been the race director throughout on the Santos Tour de Orlando. What makes a successful event? Uh, well, a, a good team of people working together to stage the, the race is obviously paramount. Um, and people going over and above the effort to, to make it happen. Uh, our logistics operation team work hours and hours into the evening, early start. Um, the police, all the associated emergency groups, the councils. So collectively, we've, we've developed a great team and a great format and system that provides the, the mechanism to make it happen on the road every day. It's very difficult to, to design a new course every year and, and create a fantastic competition. What stages stick out in your mind as the great stages? Well, I think the introduction of paracone finish and also the corkscrew because of the different features. One, with a corkscrew, a very difficult climb, but then with a 7K descent to the line. And then paracone, completely opposite, with a really sharp, short climb with no descent. So it's sort of all out to the top. Lunga, I mean, obviously with the final up the climb when we changed it from the township to the top. That was a big significant move for the race and then the, the second biggest one was making Wollonga the last day and eliminating the circuit. So, and that's worked brilliantly because, you know, we wake up Sunday morning now, we don't know who's going to win. This man from Tasmania is sprinting to a sixth win in as many years on top of Wollonga Hill. Mike, the Santos Tour Down Under has become a major player, but it's also been a major player for developing the young Australian riders into being top top professionals. That must make you feel pretty good. It does. As you know, the UniSA national team has given the opportunity to a lot of youngsters over the years to ride with the big riders of the professional peloton. So yeah, I think it's been a really important aspect of the race to give opportunities to young up-and-coming Australians to be racing at this level. Um, and I think that we've, you know, with UniSA developed a really unique package there to give the, the opportunity to the youngsters. When they changed the uh, World Tour calendar, um, national teams were not permitted to participate, but we had an ongoing agreement with UniSA and the Australian team. So we suggested quite strongly that it would be a good idea for the development of youngsters to allow the national team of the origin of the country hosting the race be allowed to start the national team. So there was a regulation change and now we see all over the world national teams starting World Tour races. Stuart, of course, now he's going to be the new race director. Mm. That must make you pretty happy. It does. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing what Stuart brings in terms of course design. You know, some of the new changes or new ideas that maybe I didn't think of and thought, oh, bloody hell, that's good. His knowledge of the terrain is equal or even better than mine because he's, as a kid, rode the same roads, he knows them inside out, knows everything like the back of his hand. I think he, he offers so many different positive aspects to the future of the race that I'm really excited to see what he brings.